Right, okay, so... Oh, some of you will know that I'm obviously English, British, whatever you want to call it. And the Vox sound, I guess, is what people, typically other than the Marshall thing, think of, I think, when we talk about this British sound thing. Uh, and the Vox is obviously an iconic amp design. And the reason that I wanted to grab an AC-15 was because I see a lot of boutique kind of clones and a lot of love for boutique clones of the Vox stuff. So whether that's the Morgan AC-20, I don't know how exact these clones are, but they're definitely pulling from that uh, pool of Vox kind of circuitry. The matchless stuff, whether it's the Lightning or the DC-30, those things. I think Dr. Z make a few different clones. I think Mesa Boogie made a transatlantic. That definitely had some kind of AC-30 vibes going on with it. Leave comments if you've got clones that are really exact kind of Vox AC stuff. Um, and I see a lot of love for those on the internet. I don't see a lot of love for just the Vox standard kind of Vox AC-15. So this is an AC-15 top boost. Um, and I'm going to guess it's probably sort of 10, 15 years old. Uh, I'm not exactly sure how you date these. But it has the reverb, it has a tremolo, which I, was something that I wanted. And I did want to have the option of the top boost circuit. The old AC-15 would have only been a single channel, normal kind of channel. The top boost came a bit later, so this is like a, an amalgamation of a few different things. I think the top boost was also an AC-30 design. So the cool thing about this is it's got a master volume as well, which again is one of those things which some people might not want on a, a classic kind of amp. But I think if you're going to be using one of these at home, rather than having to buy an attenuator and all that sort of stuff, I think having a master volume is kind of sensible and it means you can actually use the amp from clean to dirty and keep the volume in check. And so I really enjoy it. I've had to change the tubes. The tubes that I had in it were cheap Chinese tubes, I guess what came stock with the amp. I've put in a pair of Mezabuhi Softex um, and they no longer do the tube rattle thing, which it was rattling quite badly before. Um, so really happy with that now. And yeah, I think it's kind of a little bit underrated, the Vox, with a strap. So I'll just go through some tones quickly. You'll just hear in camera audio. So this is the top boost channel. You've got a tone cut, if I turn that all the way off, it get even more bright. starting to add gain so I'm going to take the volume down a bit that's at about 11 o'clock at the moment and I'll just boost the volume on the top boost channel with tremolo and reverb is kind of destined to sound can be quite a 
enough to use at home, but if you start to tease this master volume up, so it's about halfway now. <laughs> You know, unless you're looking for loads and loads of clean headroom, I think this is probably a little bit more usable than an AC30 across the range of things. So, you know, you could use it at home, you can use it on a gig, you could use it at a rehearsal, and I think easily able to cope. tube in there for that one but as you get that up to about halfway you've kind of got that kind of clang to, to the sound you know not really smooth not really polite and I don't think that's what you're going for with it but I think that's the kind of two tails of the box sound you've got this beautiful brilliant clean tones and then really kind of brash drive tones. So that's the Vox AC15 with some camera audio. Hopefully that's vaguely interesting. I'm gonna do some more videos with this and I'll try and put together a demo with an actual mic as well upstairs. <laughs> a bit of a kicking um and things like that in various models I wanted to get my hands on kind of that real sound in the room and
Thank mm-hmm. you.